Hey guys, Caleb Collins here with Nested Photo School. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to draw a box around a piece of land and track with it. So being a real estate photographer, videographer, this is a great option to offer clients when you're shooting drone footage because land just blends into each other. And so putting the boundary box around the shape of the land and having it track with the drone footage. It can be complicated if you've never done it before, but I'm gonna give you easy step-by-step -step directions so that you can do it for yourself on your videos. Let's get started. So this shot, you know, we'll show the animation of it getting drawn onto the space. So now we jump back to our timeline and we can see how it's all connected here. So we got our shots, then we got a rotation shot and it draws it out. And then we're gonna jump to this shot and we're gonna do it again to where the line, instead of being drawn out here, it will already be on our shot. This one will have it drawn off the shot. Right click, new fusion clip. Go over to the fusion panel. Awesome, we've got our right shot here. So then you come over to tools, tracker. Okay, we have six points that we need to track. And so we're gonna add our six trackers. Let's come over to tracker one, which is right up here. Right here, you can see the property boundary as it comes down to the curb. It's kind of the street here. Tracker two and their corner is basically right here. It's kind of where the street takes the turn Come and this is kind of the sidewalk area. So then we need to take tracker three next. So we're gonna come over to where the street is on the other side of the curb. So it's like this side of the trash can because the boundary is just on the other side of this big tree. So if you need to make this you know, smaller, you can drag the corner to make it more an exact pinpoint but so far it's pretty accurate. So then there are other boundary lines over here at the fence. So I'm just gonna eyeball it to make sure it's just kind of on the other side of that tree, this big tree that's right by the house. And that's tracker four. So let's jump to tracker five, which is gonna be on the fence line right up to the curb. It's kind of hard to tell in between all these trees, but okay, so there's our fence line. So the curb's basically right there. Then we're coming to tracker six. Same thing, we'll follow the curb over. And it's pretty much this tree line. There's this fence here. So now we've got all of our points set. Uh, I personally like to track every frame because it's smoother. Then I track forward and now it's gonna go through and track the entire timeline of this clip frame by frame. This can take 30 seconds, 60 seconds, depending on your computer's processing power and how long the clip is. Render's complete. Now we jump up to our tools here and search, so delete tracker, uh, type in the paint tool, we'll pull it down, drop it in right after the tracker, and then go up to this little button here. It's the polyline stroke. And so I like to start and follow the exact route that I did with the tracker. So it's a point here, point here. It doesn't have to be exact because they're gonna get created and synced up with the tracker once we sync up all these points. Click on the last one to connect the shape so it's complete. So the brush controls, you know, for me, I like to go hard, completely hard, and then try and match the other line pretty close. It was, yeah, roughly in that size. Then you go through and you select all the points. You right click, then you go to polyline under the polyline stroke one. Then you go down to publish, publish points. So now all of our points are published so we can have access to them over here in the modifiers window. Then we go over here and select our tracker one and our paint one. Select paint, go to modifiers, right click, expression click on the little plus come back to tools you're holding down the entire time then you go over tracker well tracker six was selected uh so we'll just start there but tracker center six and then you let go and that's bound so that point which is point zero is supposed to be to tracker one so we'll just type in a one hit enter boom and it pulls it right over 
Then yet again, we're gonna select all, copy. And for each of these points, we're gonna go down with our expression, paste it in. This is to tracker two, Snap snaps it right into the point. Expression, you know, select all, paste it in. And then to tracker three, pulls it right into the correct position. Then point three, expression, select all, paste it in, then tracker four. And we'll just keep working through these, pasting in tracker five. Right click expression, select all, paste it in, and then tracker six. Boom. So now it's all pulled to the correct position. You know, I like to just kind of play it back and see what it looks like. Make sure everything kind of looks right, tracking appropriately. Yeah, that looks really nice. Okay, so then we'll go back to tools and we're gonna click just on paint over here. And then we're gonna go to the stroke controls. So for here, I wanna say like the last 10 frames or so, it'll kind of unwind, you know, undraw the, the shape, frame 46. So then you activate your, your point here. So we'll leave it all the way on. And then on the last frame, we will write it all the way off. So from here it's on and it comes off. Now that we've got that looking good, we'll jump back to the edit tab and see how this all flows together. It's drawn on, it's in the shot, and it's on in the next shot, and it gets drawn off. If you picked up any helpful tips along the way, drop a like in the video and subscribe for more helpful tips. We'll see you in the next one.